In this video, we're going to find the shortest distance from a point A with coordinates 8, 10, 5 to the plane pi with the equation 3x take away 2y plus 5z plus 9 equals 0. So let's first of all draw a diagram so we can visualise what's going on. Okay. Now what we'll do is we will look at the plane side on. So there's the plane pi and here is the point A with coordinates 8, 10, 5. Now, we know that the plane pi has a normal vector, OK? And we know what the normal vector is. It's 3 minus 2, 5. So the normal vector is uh, 3 minus 2, 5. And that will make a right angle with the plane. Now what this means is that uh, there is a line going through A with that direction. And where that intersects the plane is a point that I'm interested in. Because that is a point, let's say P, such that the length AP is the distance that solves the problem. So, the line passing through A perpendicular to the plane pi is R equals uh, 8, 10, 5, so that's a position vector of a point on the line, plus lambda times 3 minus 2, 5. OK? That is that line going through point A and perpendicular to the plane. So that would be the equation of the line. So I can use that to then find where the line intersects the plane. So remember, R is x, y, z. So x is equal to 8 plus 3 lambda y is equal to 10 take away 2 lambda, and z is equal to 5 plus 5 lambda. I can substitute those into this equation and then work out the value of lambda, and that will give me the value of lambda that will give me point P. So 3 lots of x, so 3 lots of 8 plus 3 lambda, take away 2 lots of y, so take away 2 lots of 10 take away 2 lambda, plus 5 lots of z, so plus 5 lots of 5 plus 5 lambda, uh, plus 9 equals 0. So 24 plus 9 lambda, take away 20, plus 4 lambda, plus 25, plus 25 lambda, plus 9 equals 0. So we've got 9 lambda plus 4 lambda plus 25 lambda. So 38 lambda. Then we've got 24 take away 20 plus 25 plus 9 gets me plus 38 equals 0. So lambda must be equal to minus 1. So then I can substitute lambda equals minus 1 into here to give me the coordinates, or into here rather, to give me the coordinates of P. So P has coordinates uh, 8 take away 1 lot of 3, so 5, 10 plus minus 1 times minus 2, so 10 plus 2 is 12, and 5 take away one lot of 5, which is 0. So 5, 12, 0 is the point P. So then I can work out the vector AP and then find its length. So that's OP, 5, 12, 0, take away 8, 10, 5. So minus 3, 2, minus 5. Okay, so that 
is actually, um, it looks very similar to that, isn't it? It's just minus one times that, right? Um, that is just a coincidence because that is actually, um, that's my length. That's, that's the bit of the vector, right? So this is the direction uh, that is normal to the plane. This vector here tells you how to get from A to P. So actually, from P to A was actually just one lot of 3 minus 2, 5. OK? Um, I, I actually didn't set it up that way. <laughs> I just came up with the numbers. So this, is a complete, this is a complete fluke. Right. So that means the length of AP is equal to the square root of minus 3 squared, so 9, plus 2 squared, so 4, plus minus 5 squared, 25. OK, so that's um, root 38. So that is 6.16. To three sig fig, but root thirty-eight is the exact distance uh, from the point to the plane.